Hello everyone, welcome to Tommy Station. Um, this is my series of uh, videos with regards to the renovation of quite a rare loco. Um, it's <coughs> it was made by Silver Fox for Hattons, and it was the uh, LMS ten thousand in black. Um, these kits were actually made from brass and white metal in Korea and then um, with a Lima chassis so this will, this is going to be an interesting uh, re renovation and this is in conjunction with my nephew he's helping me to do this one okay so the next video will show the before Okay, so this is um, the <coughs> 10,000 logo with its paint removed. My nephew uh, soaked this in um, paint stripper twice. The paint was so jammed on there, uh, it took quite a bit of cleaning. So now you can see it's down to the brass again and white metal. It's on its chassis at the moment, just so I can show the... Uh, the condition of it now um, I'm not criticizing somebody had hand painted it and uh, it was put on with a like a tar brush it was very thick and it was a bit of a mess so this is the result of some deep cleaning in acid and now this will be ready for some body filler here and there and uh, sand down and prime so hopefully the next uh, pictures you see will be of it in primer okay on to the next one okay so here's the um, Lima chassis for this um, LMS 10,000 diesel um, this motor will be changed to a CD motor um, there was no weight in this so uh, that's I have some weights I can add the actual brass body shell weighed in at 385 grams so that's quite weighty but I, I'll probably add an extra few weights into this so it's it um, this will be a complete strip down the wheels are very dirty and um, obviously it's going to get a CD motor and I'll check the gears to see if the gears are worn so it's looking good now for um, the renovation at least I don't need to find another chassis. This one's quite reasonable. So there we go. On to the next one. Okay, this is uh, the filler applied. It's drying now nicely. Um, what I've had to do is remake the, what do you call the sills, I suppose. Um, what I've done, I've used plastic card strips because the brass was jagged and um, it had been silver soldered and there's no way you could rub that down so basically what I've done I've inserted these plastic card strips which will make it look a lot better so the next step now is to rub this down when it's dry 
in preparation for its primer. Okay. Okay, so the fill has been rubbed down. I've also made a hole in the roof to accept the fan and grill. So I've also, yeah, it's been cleaned, ready for primer. So there we go. That's the next step finished with. Surprising how many scratches there were. It, it, it looks like it scratches, but it's very smooth. So the fella's done a good job. Didn't take much. Okay, so on to the next step, which will be the primer. Okay, so it's been primed. Now it's going to stay in the warm to dry thoroughly before the top coat is applied so it'll be gloss black for the body and silver for the roof or aluminium and then all the details <coughs> it has to be glazed uh, cabin interior both ends so seats um, what do you call it? No, uh, the, the panel, instrument panel, the bulkhead, and like I say, seats, and then possibly later on lighting. So it's getting there now. Okay, next step will be paint. Okay, so this is um, with the aluminium applied to the roof. So that's that's come out quite nice. This is a uh, Vallejo. It's all Vallejo paint except for the primer. And what I've done, I've made the uh, the crew seating and bulkhead panel, instrument panel, and uh, I've made myself um, an engine. So that will go inside, and then with a the light, I hope it'll um, it'll reflect. And there's the the rear end uh, crew. So there we go. That's ready now for um, the black, which will be in the next video because I've still got a few things to do. Okay. So there we go. Bye now.